hello everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Beekeeping. My name is Dale and we are going to Happy Acres today. We are going to pick up some hives and some woodenware that we put here to be dipped in wax. They have a wax dipping system and we're here to pick it up and we'll be talking with them and see what they have to say. And we'll talk to you soon. Here we are at Hat B Acres and there's the hive that we saw before in the entryway. And uh, here we're gonna just walk right here to the entryway. But wait, this is not the entryway. This is the old entryway. Please use other door. So let's go see. Here's their new entrance. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Wow, look at this. This is really nice. We have all this stuff here. Let's take a look at the inventory. Here's some jewelry and some various different kinds of things. Here's the library. They have all kinds of bee books and queen rearing books. And over here is the queen rearing tools and items. And there's all the queen rearing stuff. And here we have more kinds of things. This is a uh, um, feeding things, pollen, uh, hive top feeder kind of things. Over here we have some uh, Apigard and Formic Pro. And here's the Looks like acid vaporizers. Here's the, they have Laura Bees and they have ProVap 110 as well. Here's all the smokers. Here's Paramoth. They have all kinds of inventory here. There's some smoker fuel and smoker starter. There's Broodminder, they're a dealer of Broodminder. There's a bottling bucket. Here's an observation hive. Here's things that you would need for harvest. Here's your harvesting tools, your decappers and the like. There's the uh, electric knives. There's the decapping station down there. There's another decapping station. Here's some Bee signs, some honey bee signs. Here's your honey bee gone that you would need to get the bees off of your frames. Here's the bucket tools, bucket opener. Here's some various different kinds of things from bee apothecary. They have a full line of jars that you might need for your honey harvest for selling. There's uh, stickers. There's the bucket holders to hold the buckets up while they drain. Something that I really like is, uh, this is a wax bag. You put this wax bag in, put the wax in here, put this in your extractor and this will sling the honey out of the wax and you have this wax bag it's really cool you just hook that on the top of your extractor they have lots of honey and honey sticks and we'll go over here to the more honey for sale and here they have suits for sale and there's Kevin walking by. 
Hello everyone. You? Welcome Hi. to Happy Acres. Glad you guys could stop by today and you have a great host today. So appreciate you stopping in today, Dale. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. If you need help with anything, just let me know. I was going to walk around a little bit and then I wanted you to tell us about your wax dipping. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Stop on back when you okay. get done. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So here's some more little knickknacks things that you can get. Here's uh, kids suits that you can get. Uh, here's all the tool, a bunch of tools. There's a bee brush and gloves and uh, swarm commander looks like. Here's some more tools, a whole bunch of hive tools, various different kinds. Um, let's see over here, we have some gloves and all different sizes of gloves. And here, I think these are the leg straps that you can put on the bottom of your pants with Velcro. And uh, here's all the suits that you might need, various different kinds of hats and veils. And then here's the adult jackets. So they have everything that you could possibly need for beekeeping. And we haven't even gotten around to the other side of the store. So here's uh, complete hive setups ready to go. You just need to do the assembly. Uh, here's the nook, nook box bottoms, or nook box bottoms. Here's all the frame stuff. So you got all the frames that are ready to be assembled. Uh, there's a frame jig for assembling. Uh, they also have the plastic frames with, uh, I believe those are acorn. And then here's a whole series of beeswax. If you're doing some bee entertainment, here's like all you kinds of things that you might need for that. This is kind of interesting object here. This is where you would put a frame. Let's see if I get it there. This is where you'd put a frame of honey, maybe for a wedding or something. You put a frame of honey there and then just let people dip some comb honey right out of there. And you'd set that up as part of your uh, area where you would put your food. I think that's pretty cool. And over here, there's some uh, wall hanging panels. And now here's uh, assembled frames. There's your uh, uh, medium frames. Here's your shallow frames. Here's a uh, white premier wax. Here's all the more frames. Here's uh, deep frames already assembled that you can buy. You can get 10 of those at a time. And then here's your black uh, premier wax as well. So we're going to walk around here and we're going to look at some more stuff. Here's the uh, hive setups. And this is all eight frame stuff, I believe, right here. Uh, you have the hive tops, the, the, the shims, hive shims. And you have the, um, wow, all the stuff that you might need. There's the inner cover. So, um, queen excluder you can get a regular uh, tops there's uh, bottoms there's a fume board there's a uh, insulated board uh, there's a top feeder and then you have here the uh, migrating frames so this is all the eight frame equipment I have and it's then we'll move over here they have the the glue that you might need if you want to build your own type bum three and uh, some other kinds of hive things here's a uh, food grade buckets to put your honey in when it comes out of your extractor and we'll look at the extractors here in a minute now here's all the 10 frame stuff uh, queen excluders and medium boxes and um, insulation Uh, nooks, nook bottoms, and then here's a bee escape. Here I just bought one of these. This is a this is a screen double screen board. You can use that for various different kinds of things when you're combining or splitting or whatever. Uh, this is a slatted rack, a ten frame slatted rack, fume board there, and then they have the bee smart tops, and then they have the fancy tops. 
But do you want to have a, what do you call that, the garden top or something like that? That's pretty fancy. Migratory tops and telescoping top. And of course they have the solid bottom boards and screen bottom boards as well. So all kinds of things, but we haven't even gotten to the extractors yet. So they have a full line of extractors. They have a small three frame extractor and another extractor. These are all by Sivan. These are Sivan extractors. And then you get up to the um, motorized ones. And then you can get uh, these that are either motorized or hand crank. So this is hand crank or motorized. And I believe this is a 12 frame, a maximum 12 frame medium. I think that's the same one. It just doesn't have the motor on it. And then of course you have the even bigger, I don't know how many frames this one is, but it's still a uh, by seven. Um, but this is probably a 20 frame. I'm not sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe 24 frame. And then they got this monster here. And then there's one even bigger than that. So this one must be a 30 some odd frame uh, device. Let's see, does it say? It doesn't say, but it's still by Sivan. Let's get back in and get you a bigger picture. And so these are all vertical and then they have this one that's horizontal spin. So this one spins this is the Max G by Sivan. And then they've got some setups here just to show you what it looks like now. This is one of those queen castle things, right? You got the two nooks on the top and a double on the bottom. So they have those available. And then they have hive stands available, two different kinds of hive stand. And then they have this, uh, the, the insulated um, plastic ones by Anil. And uh, so they have everything you could possibly need here at Happy Acres. So now I'm going to go and try to find uh, Kevin again and see if I can get him to tell us about his wax dipping operation. Let me see if I can find Kevin, let him tell us about the wax dipping. Let's look over in here and see what he, where he is. Oh, here he is. Hello, Dale. Hey, Kevin. How are you doing? Made it back. Good, good. Yeah. Just sorting through some of our equipment that we got wax dipped a couple of days ago. Big okay. order for customers. Are you familiar with wax dipping stuff? I've Probably. heard of wax dipping. Tell me about so it. Wax dipping. So we can't use beeswax. Beeswax itself has a low melting point and the bees will move the wax around. So we use a special blend of paraffin and microcrystalline, 50-50. We put it in a big stainless steel tank, heat it with propane, bring it up to 250 degrees, and all of our equipment is completely submerged for 15 minutes. And what happens is that heat pushes all of the air and water molecules out of the wood. And then as soon as you pull that back out, it's dripping wet. You set it down as it cools, it absorbs that wax into the wood and it makes it weatherproof for 20 plus years. Maintenance free, no painting anymore. You don't have to worry about staining or sealing. So rotten boxes, no more. One of the neat things on a box traditionally right in the corners is where the boxes rot out. Remember, we only paint the sides. We don't paint these. So your boxes have the corners, not anymore. The wax, since it penetrates that wood, maintenance free. So a lot easier on the beekeeper. You can keep that natural wood appearance without the maintenance. So it's something that we've started doing and very few people do it, and we're glad to offer that service for customers. So whether they assemble stuff or we assemble it, we can wax dip stuff for people. And anything that's made out of wood, as long as it's not been painted, can be dipped. Super nice. They look really nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, much. I mean, it's really keeps the natural wood look of the hive. It does. And it doesn't have a very waxy feeling. You, you scratch it. If everything's done right, the, the right temperature, it'll absorb that back in, and it doesn't have the wax on the outside. We'll have a couple little pieces, and that's just the drip that came down, but the actual box, it feels like wood. So you do the bottoms and the 
and the tops and the boxes and the supers and anything inner cover a, maybe if somebody if wants an inner cover done to, absolutely anything that's normally would be painted we would dip we did have some people ask to dip either the entrance reducer or the inner cover and if that's what they want sure it just makes it last forever now <laughs> especially since it's never uh, exposed to the weather but the other items that's exposed that would normally get wet when it rains definitely put them through the wax dipping tank and protect them for a long time so what happens to the water when it gets on these boxes that have been dipped it just in wax speeds up just like uh, your paint on a car if i had uh, some water i've got a little bit of juice here we'll put it on a flat surface and it just beads up. Look at that. Wow. Yep. Nice. And then it's just going to run right off. It and sure it's just will. It's not going to soak into the wood. It's not going to be any kind of problem at all. Yeah. Nice. It's fantastic. It's, it's good stuff. A lot of commercial guys do it. It's expensive to get the setup to do it. So it's hard to find places. But it's something as we continue to grow our business and bring things to our customers that's hard to find. It, it's beneficial to both them and us as we ourselves increase our hives it also means we spend less time repainting periodically our own equipment and you as a customer would do the same you don't have to do the maintenance and worry about painting and, and now of course once it's dipped it is wax so paint unfortunately will not stick to it so if you do want to be able to draw on your boxes hand prints and flowers you will unfortunately have to have one of raw wood and then go ahead and seal that up as you normally would. But for those that just want a clean look, dip them and never look back. Super nice. Yep. All right, thank you so much for the tour. Oh, you're welcome, Dale. Appreciate you stopping by today. All righty, thank you. Just got back from Happy Acres a few minutes ago with my two hives that have been dipped in wax. At Bee Acres Bee Supply in Batavia, Ohio is the place for all your beekeeping needs. Kevin and Liz are super nice people and want to help you be a successful beekeeper. They do this by providing the right equipment and supplies, creating great educational opportunities, and now wax dipping for all your woodenware. For more information, go to their website at hatbeeacres.com. H-A-P-P-B-E-E-A-C-R-E-S.com. Or on their Facebook page, Hat B Acres Bee Supply. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. God bless and have a great day.